Good evening. Hey there. So, I was looking online and um, I was wearing red shirt today. And when I wear red, I like to wear red on my eyes. And I didn't today. So, I thought, what better way to satisfy my cravings than to come on live and do a red eye look. So, that's what my plan is. Um, oh my goodness, my hair is a mess. I tell you what, I have been using the uh, Garlic and Capixel shampoo from Pharmacy. And I've never in my life never had to use, not had to use conditioner. Because my hair is like this kinky, curly frizzy craziness um and this garlic and capixel shampoo has made it so my hair so soft i'm not even using conditioner um like maybe but once a week and i wash my hair like three times a week um and it's growing out so much like it's just crazy okay anyway enough of that i um <laughs> i am super excited to do this red eye look i'm gonna use more than just the eye makeup um for the red color because I don't have like a red matte eye color. So um, I'm excited to show you what I'm gonna use. First thing though, I gotta prep my face. Now I did already wash my face. I used the Calendula um, face wash, which is usually what I use at nighttime to wash all my makeup off. And so I washed off my makeup from the day. Oh my gosh, pull my sleeves up. I don't know if this will make a difference or not. I should have known better than to wear a black shirt because it really washes me out on a live, but tis what it is. Okay, a good primer is important, y'all, because it helps to fill in your fine lines, your wrinkles, your pores. Um, it helps your makeup to go on really smoothly and look super fall flawless. Um, I'm using this VFX Pro primer. I tend to go for this more often than my strobe primer, um, just because this one's silica base. It's like super super smooth. Um, hey Amy. Hey Madison. Um, so I, I really like it. It really does a good job of filling in my pores and helping with these wrinkles here. Um, love you too. Um, so there's that. I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and do my face first. I really struggle when I don't do my face first. Um, I have my, uh, magic sponge here. Okay, this is a pharmacy magic sponge. It's only $6. It's very similar to an e.l.f. sponge that you get for the same amount of money at Walmart um, or wherever. But it's awesome. It has very small pores, so all your makeup doesn't get lost in this. Uh, I like to get the sponge wet. It's still a little bit damp from this morning. Not as much as I usually like, but I forgot to go get it wet. Um, and then I'm using my VFX Pro foundation. This foundation is freaking fantastic. VFX actually stands for video... Uh, or visual visual effects so uh, this foundation is really good if you're gonna be going live if you're gonna be taking pictures if you're gonna be doing videos um, now when you're applying any kind of foundation with a sponge okay you want to like bounce and press it off your face you don't want to rub it around because then your foundation is just getting pushed around your face and it's not staying put anywhere because you're rubbing it around so I really like hey Jerry um, hey Taylor. Um, I really like using a wet sponge because it gives you almost like a more of an airbrushed finish. Very, very, very nice finish. Look at the difference there. Okay. One application of that foundation on this side of, well, my forehead too, but this side of my face versus this side. This is the natural amount of redness that I have on my face and I'm kind of hot right now. Okay. And this foundation just in that couple of seconds of application really toned down all of that redness. Freaking phenomenal. And not hard to apply. But when my face actually looks like it's supposed to look, when it looks natural, that's when I feel the best. Hey, Ashlyn. Okay, so again, bounce and press, bounce and press. Sometimes when I back up, if I'm wearing a black shirt, I don't wash out as badly. I'm kinda, my eyes are some of the hardest part for me to do with foundation and concealer because I have these, I have these bags, these wrinkles under my eyes. Hey, Desiree. Um, so sometimes makeup settles in there. The primer also helps to keep that from happening. I do have these blemishes down here, this red nose, so I'm going to put an extra layer here of protection. Hey, Derek. Okay, all this. And I'm going to get even more coverage here in a minute because I'm also going to um, put some powder over. And cool thing, this, uh, this foundation's buildable. So after it sets there for a moment, you can even 
bounce and press more foundation on there if you want a second layer. This VFX foundation is very, very lightweight as well. So even though I'm putting this on here, even if I double it up, it doesn't feel very heavy. Um, the shade that I'm using is shade 04. It actually has uh, like a pinkish tint to it. It's almost too dark for me because I'm, I'm very light complected. Very, 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 very fair skin. <laughs> like I don't know if you can have enough varies in there. But there's that. See, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Awesome, awesome coverage. Now, I have oily skin and I don't want to feel like I have makeup on my face. Like if I go to scratch my face or put my hands there, my hands are always on my face. Horrible habit. Um, so I always like to put powder on. This BB powder is my freaking favorite. So hard to see with my black shirt. Okay. It is tinted. There is a, um, there is a light and there's a medium, I believe, shade of these available over here in the U.S. right now. But I use the light shade. Um, I love using my pharmacy brush to apply this. This comes in the $20 four brush kit. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are, there are letters coming through the bottom here. It actually says pharmacy. Um, the way that pharmacy is able to keep their cost down on their products is because they cut out the middlemen. Pharmacy does everything from uh, growing, cultivating, harvesting their own ingredients as much as possible. And then they do all the manufacturing, putting their uh, products together. And everything down to like making the own, making their own tens, making their own plastics, everything to hold all of their um, products. So they are able to pass on the savings to us because it doesn't cost as much as if they were to outsource um, all of those steps in production. So pretty cool. All right, look at that. So now I have a nice matte finish, powdery finish, freaking awesome. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to use this three in one face palette here. Um, this is amazing because you can use it for contouring. Um, you can use like these shades as bronzers, whatever you want. I'm actually gonna use this dark shade here to um, sort of shape my face. And I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. I do really like this brush. Hey mama. Okay, I'm gonna go up around my hairline with it. Once I get this face done, then I'll get to my eyes. Okay as close to your hairline as you can. We're just working on adding a little bit of depth here. Okay, go all the way down and then shape your jawline. Okay, or I will shape my jawline anyway. So if you have a, um, if you want to create a little bit of extra or depth to your um, jawline, you can also bring that uh, that contour color down. See, it creates a little bit of a shadow. Can make your face actually look um, more slender than maybe it appears otherwise. And then I'm going to put this down below my cheekbone. Okay, slender. Look at that automatically slenderizes my face. What? It's an optical illusion. Pretty easy optical illusion. One of the easiest things I can do to make my face look more thin is to contour. Hey Gunner, say hi everybody. Say hi Grandma Laurie. You don't want to? Okay. Leave mommy's makeup alone buddy. No, that is not your makeup. That's mommy's makeup. Okay, I'm gonna use this other pharmacy brush. Okay, and I'm going to go down my nose. This is actually a foundation brush, but I found that because of the shape of it, it works really well on the nose. <laughs> so, that's what I've been using it for. Gunner, why don't you say hello, Grandma? Say hi, Grandma. I need you to put that lip, lip color back, please. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to take my light ivory, hey Lanisha, I'm going to put my light ivory um, concealer here under my eye, okay, Gunner, see how they have numbers on them, you got to keep the numbers in order buddy, see they have numbers on the bottom, leave those alone, oh my goodness, he's going to have this all kinds of crazy, hey Sandy, Gunner, can you say hi everybody? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. 
No, you have to say hi, not bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. You're silly. Got my Y2K station on. Okay, so I'm going to use the pointed end of my blender here under my eye. Just kind of brighten this up. Whoa! With my super, super fair skin here. I feel like light ivory. <laughs> like, this is almost my color match in real life. Look at my makeup. Look at my makeup. You're not wearing makeup. Do you want to wear makeup? We can put makeup on you if you want. I don't know how happy daddy would be with it, but... Look, look, look at mom's face. Yeah, look at mom's face. Look at mom's face. Oh, you got help? Clean. Dab down my nose. See, we have to dab. Dab it. Dab it. Okay. You do my nose, or my chin? Yes. Okay. More in love with you. Get ready to swap. Okay, now I'm going to use this from the face sculpting palette and my pharmacy brush and I'm going to put this under my eyes to set that little bit of concealer that I put there. Can you help me do my forehead? Can you do my forehead? Oh man. Oh, and my hair. Dip it in the white one. Okay, can you do my chin again and my nose? Not your chin, my chin. Can you do my nose? Do down my nose. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Oh, you're so good. Look, Grandma says, Gunner, you can come help me do my makeup. Get with Say, okay, Grandma. Everyone. Say, hi, Melinda. Get, get no. ready to roll. Get ready to what? Get ready to uh, get ready to something. Okay, we're going to brush our eyebrows. Brush them out. And because I'm going fancy, I... Oh, gosh. That is not blended at all. Stop. Stop, please. Not bad. I got a little off track here. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Don't need that looking quite so crazy. And then I need my blush. Oh, my goodness. Forgetting what I'm doing here. Hey, I need you to stop, please, okay? Stop. Hey. Did, did you turn all these backwards? Did you do that? You switched all of those on me. You switched them all, you silly goose. Okay, stop. I need you to stop, okay? I I need you to stop. Oh my goodness. Gunner is a crazy, crazy boy. Okay, I'm just going to use this peach color. It's easy. Easily accessible here. Put it up over... Where I did my little bit of contouring there. I see the sticker. You, you see the sticker? I see the sticker. Yeah, you know I like my things a certain way and you messed with it all. Okay, we're done. We're done with the stuff in there. Yes. He loves to rearrange my makeup. He loves it. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good, right? Back to our eyebrows. Um, I'm going to use this pomade. This is the dark brown pomade. And I'm going to use, this is the pharmacy double-ended makeup brush. Gotta brush my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna use this end on this double sided dub, double sided brush. Yeah. That's right. Pharmacy.com slash Anna Ingham. Okay. I like just kind of going from the bottom here and then go here at the top. I don't worry about And then about just kind of connect the track. I'll go grab I'll go grab What are you talking about, you crazy goose? God, I messed up here whatever. So I'm not a super pro at my brows. I have pretty good brows myself. That's why usually I just wear my brow mascara. Um, but I do wear this when I'm feeling super fancy. Okay. <laughs> ah! Okay. Stop, please. Okay. Go down. Like that. Go up, up here. Stop. Stop. I'll stop. Go, I'll go back to you. It just looked. Huh? What are you talking about? Love you. What's tomorrow morning? It wants to go morning. Huh? Wants to go morning. Wants to go eyes. Eyes. Yeah, I'll do my eyes in just a minute. Gotta do my eyebrows first. This one's kind of wonky over here. Okay. I got big old thick eyebrows. No, no dainty eyebrows for me. I was trending before I even knew it was a trend with my big old thick eyebrows. 
There we go. There's that. Then, you ready? You ready for mommy to do her eyes? Yes. Okay, hang on. Hang on. No, no, no. We're not going to do the eyelashes yet. Um, we are going to use our eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer? Eyeshadow primer? I don't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. You're being so silly. Okay. Stop, please. Here's my little paintbrush, makeup brush. Put all over my eyes here. So, this eyeshadow primer is amazing. It antibacterial what? Okay. Hey, back up, dude. I don't worry about it. This um, eyeshadow primer is awesome. I also use it a lot of times to cover up blemishes underneath my foundation. Um, but it helps to just create a blank canvas, helps your colors to be more vibrant. Um, the pigments can really shine through. So it's just really, really helpful. It also helps to, um, it's kind of like a putty. It helps to uh, fill in your fine lines, your wrinkles, and also helps your eye makeup to last all day. So I put it here all over. <laughs> all right all right back up let mom let mom do her magic Not you want to see some magic yes yes of course you do okay i'm going to use this this is um love letter it's actually a blush it's blush number 17 um this would be a beautiful blush on people who, who are darker complected definitely way too dark for me to use as a blush but i use it all the time as an eyeshadow so i'm going to use my angled eyeshadow brush just like this on the outside mm -hmm. nothing too crazy because i got a plan no. okay just forget. a little bit on the outside here no. I forget to... mm -hmm. gunner stop baby hey i need you to stop okay please okay now i'm gonna just bring this in I forget to... mm -hmm. towards the corner here all right that's all i'm gonna do with that for the moment now i am going to use my mm -hmm. um what is this? Ultimate Smoky Trio. I'm going to use the black from it. Um, or you can use... Stop! Or you can use the color Black Tide, which... Um, stop! I'm going to ask you to leave if you can't keep your hands to yourself. Okay? Um, or you can use Black Tide from the regular eyeshadow palettes. Hey, Jamie. Okay. So, I've got a little bit of red glaze here in the outer corner that a little bit just a smidgen no look quite so so much of a straight line okay now I'm going to use this okay my black tide there's Miranda can you say hi Miranda bye say hi Miranda no no okay don't I don't care don't say hi to my friends don't worry. okay I'm using this teeny tiny brush here and I'm actually going to create a um, new crease for myself because my eyes are hooded. And if I don't create a false crease, then you ain't going to see no colors on my eyes. It's like takes so much concentration to do this. Okay, so I've got my false crease there. Turn around. You turn around. Hey, no. Oh, turn it around. Okay. What does that say? Makeup. What does it say? Say it louder. What's it say? Pharmacy makeup. Pharmacy makeup. That's correct. Try to get this halfway even with my other eye. Definitely one of my daily struggles is getting my eyes even. Because our eyes are not symmetrical. Hey, Buffy. Say hi, Buffy. No, Buffy. No, Buffy. Say hi, Buffy. Hi, Buffy. What? Okay. Apparently not.
Okay. It's about as even as I'm going to get there. Ready for the red? This is going to be crazy because I'm not using... Stop. Stop. Please keep your hands to yourself. I'm not going to use a red eyeshadow. I'm going to use my red love liquid matte lip color on my eyes. Um, and I have, I have this brush right here. It's just a blending brush. As you can see, I use it for my red all the time. It's stained for my red, but I just love it. Um, this is like a great Spider-Man red. There are a lot of different red matte colors out there. Um, a lot of red matte colors out there, but it's, it's hard unless you get like uh, costume makeup or cosplay makeup. Um, but it's awesome. Okay. So I've got a little bit here for my wand. I'm just putting it here in my eyes. I see the sticker. And I'm going up to where I created this false crease. Look at that I'm trying to make it so you guys aren't going to like totally see up my nose. And I'm going to go um, about halfway. And I'm definitely going to have to layer this. Okay. And I'm going to have to go over that false crease again. So that it's more of a darker black. I just put it on there to begin with so that I have a guide. Something to go by. Isn't it pretty? Super pretty. You know, the first time I used lip colors on my eyes was actually on a dual live with Miranda like two years ago. I'm pretty sure I used Cupcake, which is a like purple lip color. And I think she used Dream Lip Gloss. Super fun, super pretty. But I've never forgotten about it since then. So, again, I'm just layering this on so that away it's a deep red, super pretty color. What, Gunner? It's saying something about the pharmacy makeup now. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other eye. Dance. Gunner, are you going to dance? Silas is already asleep. That's why we're doing this in peace, because he's already out like a light. Look at how that red color makes my eyes pop. Red really makes blue eyes pop. I love putting my boys in red. I love wearing red. Hey, Bubby. Stop. Huh? Have you looked so Guaranteed. The Philips Sonicare guaranteed. Hey, there's Miss Tammy. Gunner, you want to say hi to Miss Tammy? He's gone. I'm going to have to come on and just let him do my makeup on here however he wants one night because he is so into it. Hey, Brandy. I'm trying to get all the way into the corner here with this. Kind of looks crazy, I know. And I'm going to have to let this dry what before I go Phillips? any further. Phillips. How do you spell Phillips? Phillips. You know how. How? Fi. I. O. Phil. Two L's. Phil. I. Phil. Phil. No. Phil. P I S. So Phil. close. Phillips. Yeah. Okay. Now. I am going to Phillips. Did you get it? There you go. Okay. I got my time locker setting spray. And, oh man, this needs to dry. This needs to dry. This needs to dry. This needs to dry. Um, as this dries, I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to, oh my gosh. Okay. Here I go being totally unhygienic, but using my q-tip to get this red out from under my eye there where it kind of it's going to take a second for this to um set up i think what i'll do is i'll go ahead and set it with this transparent setting powder um i trying to remember what brush i used i used a brush oh you know what brush i used i used my foundation brush okay I've got my foundation brush, and I'm going to put this in. That is not the correct powder. My transparent setting powder is what I'm looking for. 
There it is. Transparent setting powder. Finishing powder. Um, and I'm actually going to use my foundation brush because it actually, uh, it like turns this into a powder. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to put it on my eyes. Because I don't want this lip color to go anywhere. So I'm like setting this in place. So I'm just like patting this powder on there. Um, this is the same thing that I do with my lips. So if you didn't see it today, my lip color lasted like over four hours this morning before I took it off at lunch. I do have a tendency to take my lip color off at lunchtime, whether it needs it or not. Um, but put your lip color on and then take your transparent powder and then dab it over your lips. It will make it last for hours and hours and freaking hours. Like I call it bulletproof lips. So that's exactly what it is. There I go. This red out from under here again. I have to go back in here. Okay. So now it's pretty well dry. It's set. So I'm going to go for the smoky look now. So now I'm going to use my black from this black tide again. And I'm going to use this brush. Just a regular old eyeshadow brush. Okay. I'm going to dip it in here. And then I'm going to go over this red. Like so. Go to the other side. Okay, I actually want this to show up a little more black than it is, so I'm gonna spray it with my Time Locker setting spray, which is only eleven dollars. That's a steal for setting spray, FYI. And I have a couple in stock. Actually, I may only have one. Actually, I think I have to take to someone, to take one to someone tomorrow, but I can get them. Oh, yeah, that's lots better. See, this is why I shouldn't do my face makeup before my eyes, but I can't help it. I think I'll get more of the effect if I use the more dense shadow brush as well. Maybe that's what I need. So I'm going to use a dome blender brush. There we go. And give me more of that pigmented look I'm going for. Y'all know me. I just like slapping this stuff on my face. <laughs> okay. It works. It works for me. And I can definitely clean this up. And I will. Um, but I am going to go back over up here. Try to get my eyes even. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my, my makeup wipes. Okay, these are awesome. They're only like $5 for a pack of, I don't even know how many is in here, a lot, 20 $5 for a 20 pack of, mass of makeup wipes. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm getting my more crisp and clean line there by using this makeup wipe. Awesome. Hey, Deanna. Gunner. Hey, don't tear up the book. Trying to concentrate here. And I got a little bit of the red glaze uh, eyeshadow showing out underneath the black over here. Just like I want. Awesome. Okay, I am going to use um, this brush. Okay, this brush to. Um, I like the smell of the Be Fit wipes better. Um, I don't like them so much for removing makeup, but I do like them. Um, I'm going to spray this with my setting spray, and I'm going to use my same black tide. 
and I'm actually going to go under my eye with this. Hey, Shelb. Okay, Let's spray this again. Why not? Go in with my black again. Gunner, Shelby's on the phone. Can you say hi, Shelby? No. No. Huh? Gunner. He said it's not Shelby, it's Gunner. You don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. They, yeah, that's true. They are great for correcting mistakes. Watch it pass by. So pendulum swigs. Okay. It looks like it's so hard to tell when your eyes aren't symmetrical. And this eye, uh, this eye is like, you saw, saw Cy but not Gunner today at school. Yeah. Okay. So this eye of mine my right eye is always like smaller than my left particularly when i'm tired so it's really hard to try and get my eyes even because they're so different in the end, it doesn't even matter. i'm just gonna shape this up a little bit more <laughs> When you stick your fingernail in eyeshadow. Yeah, usually it's the kids' fingers going in the eyeshadow that I'm having to, like, get off of them. So, that's good to know. I can use that on them. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. Um, Then, I'm going to take my black. I'm going to take my black dip liner. Hey, Danielle. And I'm going to go over the top with this. Gunner, I need you to stop, buddy. You're going to hurt yourself. I love this black dip liner. It dries super fast. And it's so easy to get really precise with it. Okay, I'm going to get closer to the corner with my... Um, waterproof pencil here in just a minute. But I definitely prefer my dip liner for my upper lash line. Put my trust in you Push as far as I can go I make it look so easy. Um, yeah, I feel like this is easy. I do not have very good luck with the actual ink liner, uh, pen, but this dip liner, I freaking love. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Express eyeliner pencil. It's a waterproof eyeliner pencil on my lower waterline. It'll give that super dark look. Gunner. I get all the way into the corner with that. Bam. Gunner. I think he just wants mommy to beat him. Okay, then I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to use my pink highlighter, this one, up under my eyebrows. See, I, I've had that for like four or five months and I've never even used it. I've never attempted to use it. It's kind of daunting uh, to me, kind of scary. I'll have to try it, but I just... I just haven't. So, okay, there's that. I feel like my eyebrows need to be darker. Oh well, I guess it is what it is, but. That's not about me. Okay, then I am going to take a little bit of gold. 
and I'm gonna put here in the corner. I'm actually going to um, use this brush. This gold liner, hey Stephanie, hey Lisa, is freaking awesome. I used it um, today on my upper uh, lash line. And then I used it yesterday as like part of my eyeshadow in the corners and it was phenomenal. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna use it just right here in the corners on the top. I'm gonna use the same brush I use for my red. Just kind of smudge it out just a smidge. I like shimmer, I like glitter, so any opportunity I can use glitter and shimmer, I'm gonna do it. And I think it goes good with this red and black, so there we are. Look at how it makes, for real, red really makes blue eyes pop, so. There we go. Um, I feel like I need a little bit more red on my right eye. It doesn't really look very even. Makeup is so much fun. Like, I saw this really cool picture on Google that gave me this idea to try this, but I'm putting my own twist on it. It's like art. You just throw your own interpretation. The secret is wearing it and owning it. So, you just act like you meant for it to look the way that it does. You be confident, and no one else will think anything about it. And if they do, who cares? Be you. I'm learning how to be more comfortable with myself. And if someone else doesn't like it, oh well, they don't have to. That's about me. Okay, there's that. Then, Gunner, this kid. Um, now I'm going to use my Starlook Mascara. Um, this is a new tube, so I'm super excited because it's gonna go on awesome. Actually, I'm going to fix under my eyes first with my concealer because I kind of wiped it off. But I think instead of using this big sponge, I'm going to use a small one. I'm going to use my Weedoo Baby sponge. Gunner! Gunner, do you want a whooping? Then knock it off. Like I'd really whip him. He knows I wouldn't. That's why he's like brighten up under my eyes there. Look at your face. I see your I see your face. What about it? Go back to my face palette again. Um Get my powder back on underneath it. Set it. Oh, that makes my face look really bright. Doesn't quite blend in with the rest of <laughs> Doesn't quite blend in there. So let me get back to fixing this. Is he being rotten? Gunner, can you say hi, Miss Tammy? Huh? Oh my goodness. This kid. Say hi, Miss Tammy. He is being rotten right now. He had a really good day. Um, his teacher actually sent me a text and said Gunner was excellent today and said he was singing, he got the whole class singing. Um, everybody everybody needs somebody to love. So that was pretty cool. Kind of kind of exciting, kind of neat. Doesn't that does that make my eyes look like super white? I don't like that. 
I messed it up. I should have just used regular, um, I should not have used that. See if I can't rectify the situation here. That might be as good as it gets. You remind me. That's as good as it's going to get. It's whatever. You remind me. Alright, highlighter. I love my highlighter. I'm using my pink highlighter for my palette. Okay, Starlook Mascara. I opened a new thing of it tonight. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, that makes me feel better. So I'm excited because this is my favorite mascara. I actually was wearing Starlook today from my old container and I got asked if I was wearing uh, false lashes. Like that's how good it is. So I am gonna put falsies on, um, but the thing with falsies is unless you're using brown or other colored falsies, you probably want your natural lashes to blend in with black uh, false eyelashes. So since my eyelashes are not naturally black, I put on black mascara so that they all blend in together. Okay. So I'm not actually going for length and volume with this mascara. Hey, Sean, I am going for uh, just the color for the black color. So it really doesn't matter which eye uh, or what kind of mascara you put on your eyes if you're putting on falsies. At least I don't feel like it does. But I was just excited because I opened a new box of this. So I thought I'd go with it. I'm going to be doing some eyelash tutorial videos um, more and more just because Pharmacy is uh, going to be coming out with their own lash line. Woo -woo. I'm excited. I love Red Aspen false eyelashes. If you want to try out some lashes before Pharmacy comes out with them, I actually do have a Red Aspen party link. I don't sell it, but if I can get things for discounted or free, <laughs> then... Uh, I'll promote it just so that way I can do that. So let me know if you want my link. Um, Ardell is also a really good eyelash brand. I get those from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, I'm not sure if Walmart has Ardell or not. They might. Some of the Kiss lashes uh, are good too. They're decent from Walmart, but I tend to stick with Ardell and my Red Aspen. So there's that. All right, now. I'm going to use, um, these are, I think these are Ardell lashes. No, they aren't. These are red aspen lashes. I don't want to use those. I want to use my Ardell lashes. Okay, these ones are from Ardell. They're double wispies. They're awesome. Um, whenever you get false lashes, okay, the way that they're on the card is the way they go on your eyes. All right. So this one goes on this side, this one goes on this side. It's important, I don't know if you can tell here, but like the outer edge is longer than the inner corner. So you wanna make sure you get it on the correct eye so that way you're not feeling like they're on funky. Um, I'm gonna use, I have some red aspen glue, which I really like, but I found this, this is comparable. It's Kiss brand and it has aloe in it. It does not have formaldehyde or latex, which unfortunately a lot of false eyelash glue does have in them. So, you want to watch out for that. Um, the red aspen glue is like $10 a tube. This is only like $3 from Walmart. So, pretty good. So, what you want to do is you want to hold, um, you want to place your eyelashes in the holder, tweezers, whatever you want to use, like that. There needs to be plenty of space up here. Don't put it on the band. Gunner, enough. Um, get your glue. And I prefer the kind that has a brush on. Hey, Celeste. And then you want to just put it along the lash line, so like the band of your false eyelash. Okay, I really like this glue and the red aspen glue both because they go on white and as they dry and start to get to the right tacky consistency, uh, it turns more of like an iridescent color. It becomes more um, see-through. And so you know that you have your, uh, you know that you have waited long enough to put these 
lashes on. If you put them on as soon as you put the glue on, then they're going to slide all over your face. If you wait too long, then they won't stick. So it's important you wait till it gets to that right consistency. Gunner, stop. Stop messing with the cord, please. You're going to end up smacking yourself in the face and getting hurt. Okay, see, it's not looking so white. Now it's more looking more like an iridescent purple. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of practice. It took me just a couple times to get the hang of putting these on. I still don't have the hang of putting on magnetic lashes, um, but these are cool. So if you, you can pull your, pull your eye tight if you want to. I don't usually. Um, just place them. And I know, again, I make this look easy. I feel like it is easy. If it was hard, I wouldn't do it. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. Get ready to I'm putting on lashes. You see my lashes? Yes. Get Look ready to wow. Get, get ready to wow. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If this was hard, I wouldn't do it. Promise. Okay, so again, I got this here. I'm going to use my applicator. Just kind of place it. This is probably one of my favorite pair of lashes, by the way. They're honestly about due to be put in the trash, but I love them. Okay, so I've got a hold there. Put my glue on. Okay, let it dry just a moment. You literally just put it there. Attach it to like right where you put your eyeliner, if you put eyeliner on top of your eyelashes, that is right where you put your lash band. Okay, right where you put eyeliner. What color lips should we do? Should we do red? I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do red love lips so it matches my eyes. How about that? Yeah. I'm going to put all these away. Like organizing my things here, waiting for these this lash glue to dry. Okay, so now it's turning purple. It's turning more iridescent. So stick it on. Look at there. Bye, um, look. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. Look at my eyes. They're popping. Yeah. All right. Red Love, which is the lip color I used on my eyes. It is liquid lip, liquid matte lip color, zero five Red Love. I never thought I would be a red lipstick kind of gal, and this just totally works. <laughs> Look at that. Bam. Is that awesome? They are popping. They are. Even with this crazy hairdo, like, I still look like I'm super fly, ready to go out on the town. I really like this. And I think the gold, I think the gold really does good there in the corners of the eye, too. I really like it on the bottom. And those lashes, bam, baby. Red works really well for people with blue eyes. Um, it doesn't matter how fair your skin is. I am like the most lightly complected person I think I've ever met. Look at this. I'm like a ghost. Like a ghost. Okay. My foundation is one of the lightest shades and it's actually almost too dark for me. So, ghost. Red looks good on any color skin. It looks good on any color lips. Okay. It also looks good if you got blue eyes. Makes your eyes pop. It even makes my brown spot in this eye pop because I do have a brown spot. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That's all I got. So now I have satisfied, 
satisfied my hankering for red eyes today, even though I'm not still wearing my red shirt. Um, that's kind of what started it this morning. My red shirt makes me want to wear red eye makeup, but anywho, that's what I got. Now I'm going to hop off here and I guess I'm going to get right, Gunner ready for bed since his brother is already passed smooth out. And so I'm going to hop off now and y'all will catch me later.